a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Well, sure, I'm a beer player, certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. Help to cultivate more sense with a cool head and a keen eye. You're taking trying to give an ironclad leave to yourself from a three-round billiard shot. But just as I say it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a ball blind game, I say if any boob can take and shove a ball in a pocket, and I call that slop the first big step on the road to the depths of Dag Renaz a first. But this is no wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. And he's listening to some big out of town Jasper here to talk about horse race gambling. Not a horse of trot race, no, but a race where they sent down right on the horse. Like to see some stuck up junkie boy sitting on Dan Patch. Make your blood boil, well, I should say.
No, dear. We all have to be a little patient. I'm patient, even though he doesn't ever talk to me. But I do him every night. I say goodnight to him on the evening star. You have to do it the very second you see it, too. It doesn't count. Good night, my Winthrop. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> there, there, dear. Don't cry. You have lots of time. If not Winthrop, there'll be someone else. Never. I'll end up an old maid just like you. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Miss Marion. Can I play my cross hand piece? May I play my... May I play my cross hand piece? May. See? Now to sweetheart. You have known to say goodnight to on the evening star. I know. But for the time being, just say goodnight, my someone. You can fill in the right name and the right someone comes along. All right. It's better than nothing. Yes, it is. Now you can play your cross hand piece. Now I may play my cross hand piece. <laughs>
Nation for leading the singing. And to J.C. Squires for his fine stereoptican slides. And to Ethel Toffelmeyer, our fine player piano player. And as mayor of River City, I welcome you, River Citizens, to the 4th of July exercises set up for the indoors here in Madison Gymnasium account the weather. Four score and... Four score and... The members of the school board will now present our patriotic tableau. Oh, the members of the school board will not present a patriotic tableau. Some disagreement about costumes, I suppose. <coughs> Instead, the Watan Yi girls of the local wigwam of Hiawatha will present a spectacle, my wife, <laughs> in which my wife. Ulele McKechnishin will take a leading part. Lord made little green apples, and that 
man's gonna be in uniform. Johnny, Willie, Teddy, Fred. And you'll see the shimmer of crashing cymbals. You'll hear the thunder of rolling drums and the shimmer of trumpets. Tom, ta -da! And you'll feel something akin to the electric thrill that I once enjoyed. Gilmore, Liberati, Pat Conway, the great creator, W.C. Handy, and John Philip Sousa. Oh! All came to town on the very same historic day. 76 trombones led the victory with 110 cornets close at hand. They were followed by Rose and New Books of the finest virtuosos, the dream of every famous man. 76 trombones caught the morning sun with 110 cornets right behind. There were more than a thousand degrees springing up. 
emergency action. I have this keen team. I will people get so excited since the night Frank Gotch and Strangular Lewis lay on the mat for three and a half hours without moving a muscle. Never mind. I want his credentials. Thanks, Professor. Who the people who of Mrs. Sheridan? Thanks, Professor. Ringleader, you know, have to make an example of him. What he does, the gang does. Judy Clyde, let me go. Yeah, wild kid, yeah. Hanging around my oldest girl. His father's one of them day laborers out of the town. You're a wild kid, yeah. Tagging down Main Street after my oldest girl last Sunday. I wasn't either tagging. Don't you contradict me. We was just walking together. Julie Clyde. You watch your phraseology. I know what you was doing. My little crazy senior. Now you stay away from my oldest girl, or you'll hear from me till who laid the rails. Hill, I'll talk to you Monday morning about this band thing. Over to City Hall. Ten o'clock sharp. Ken, I want that spellbinder printer. The constable. I'll be responsible for the boy. You don't know this kid. He's a wild one. He's got his gang waiting outside. I'll be careful. Tommy, I'd like to talk to you about the band. <laughs> oh, gee, Professor, that's for the little kids. I'm not talking about you playing in it. You're mechanically minded, aren't you? You ever done anything with perpetual motion? You only had it a couple times. <laughs> oh, I bet you did. Well, then it looks like you're my man. Do you know that no one has ever invented a music holder for a marching piccolo player? Nowhere to hold the music. Judy Clyde, I wonder where I could get some wire from. Look in your cellar, that's where people keep wire. Oh, and Tommy. Now, Constable, here's how you break up a gang. Oh, young lady, miss... What's your name? Zanita. I didn't have any idea you were speaking to me. He got... You know Tommy Gillis. Oh, I like... Uh, Tommy. This is Anita. Escort the young lady home. Oh, oh only except that I'm not going home. I have to go to the library. Ye gods. Well, then escort the young lady home by way of the library, by way of the candy kitchen. Yes, sir. Do I have to? You have to. Yes, sir. Ye gods. <laughs> Professor? You're a pretty smart young fellow. But you made a couple of mistakes. Oh? It happens that the mayor owns that billiard parlor and the new pool table. Oh. What was my other mistake? That's Anita, the mayor's oldest girl. <laughs> Just a minute, Professor Hill. We'd like to see your credentials clear the school board. Academic certificates! We're nothing on the card! We need letters and papers! Make him put up a bond! Oh, wait, 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 gentlemen. What am I hearing? Um, say... Ice cream. Ice cream? Well, I don't say it. That's... Just say it down here. Ice cream. Okay, now, talk slow. Ice cream. You see, singing is only sustained talking. Now you serve ice cream. Now you ice cream. Now you, gentlemen. Ice cream! <laughs> Mrs. Shin, you will never see one of these men without the others from now on. Oh, Mr. Hill, you're wrong. They've hated each other for 15 years. Ice cream! <laughs> Ice cream! Ice cream! Ice cream. <laughs> 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 Wonderful! How can there be...
I'm 
everything and it doesn't make any difference. What? Oh, you're probably very young. Anyone can make a mistake. What are you talking about? No excuses. No explanations. I'm only in town a short while and uh, a sadder but wiser girl for me. <laughs> Will you please make your selection and leave? I have. What do you want to take out? The librarian! Quiet, please. <laughs> the librarian. You're not listening, Mary. Marion. Marbles. Six dealies, eight aggies, a dozen peewees, and one big glass with an American flag in the middle. I think I'll drop them. No! Madam Librarian. Oh, what can I do, my dear, to catch your ear? I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, heaven help us if the library caught on fire and the volunteer homes were cavemen had to whisper the news to man.
marshmallow, Madam Librarian. Soliciting is statutory in this county. Now, feasance without a permit.